Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today uh, I'm just going to be sharing my quick thoughts on the new hero and the reworks that are coming in the testing grounds in the new season. Uh, obviously I live streamed this reveal, uh, so I, I kind of gave my thoughts then, but, but I've had quite a lot of people asking me about my opinion, uh, so I thought I'd just do a video about it, why not? So, you know, I'm going to start with Warden. Obviously Warden is my main, Warden is the character I built this channel around, so, uh, you know, I've been with him since day one, I've been through all these changes, uh, and I've got to say that these changes are the most exciting ones for me. I'm very, very happy with the changes overall. You know, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you will know that I have always said I would be happy to take some kind of nerf to the shoulder bash as long as I was given other options for offence because, you know, obviously his light, his, his openers aren't great other than his shoulder bash, you know, his lights, his zones. When Once you do them, it's kind of just a dead end, you know, it stops the... Like, a lot of the times that I successfully land lights is just because of when I make reads or, you know, use the correct timing to catch them co coming forward or doing something, you know? A lot of the times, most of them just get parried, so it's like his gameplay revolves a lot around back backdoor shoulder bash, you know, to try and open your opponent up. And I've always said it a lot, I've always said it, like, backdoor shoulder bash is, is just cheese, and, you know, it's, it's kind of broken, man, so... I'm happy that it's removed, definitely. It, obviously, it's going to take some getting used to, you know, muscle memory and all that, but that should be fine. But obviously, now you can chain into the shoulder bash from any move, from the zone attack, from Valiant Breakthrough, from the heavies, the heavy finishers, you know. So the character flows a lot nicely. Obviously, that sad heavy uh, finisher being unblockable is, is great. He's just got so much more options now, and, and you can get his flow real going nice. I, I imagine he would be... A lot more fun to fight against as well from from the other point of view and you don't have to just deal with a warden just constantly back that shoulder bash cancel back that shoulder bash cancel you know uh, in twitch chat yesterday you know you know what twitch chat's like we always see people crying about stuff like oh he's, he's already s tier he's already s plus tier you're just making him even more broken even more better it's like no man no people need to understand that he was s tier for the the wrong reason he was S tier because he was broken with his back dodge shoulder bash and, you know, because his offensive flow wasn't good, people resorted to that more than anything. I mean, yeah, he's probably still going to be a top hero, but because of the right reasons now, not because of the broken back dodge SP cheese shit, you know? And not just that as well, but now he's going to be playable in 4v4s. He's going to be better in team fights, offensively and defensively. Obviously, they buffed the zone attack recovery by half, so that's going to be good to use in team fights as well. There isn't one bad change been done, honestly. It's the character for me now is I'm very excited to play him. But the thing is, I'm I'm excited to play against him as well. Now I'm I'm excited for the mirror matches. So that's just my brief thoughts on on the warden changes. You know, I'm I'm very excited and I'm happy. So there we go. So moving on to PK, you know. Obviously, she needed the damage buff on the heavies and overall, uh, but now that she's been given the unblockable heavy finishes when your opponent is bleeding. I feel like these PK changes are amazing as well, and they actually make me want to fucking play her. I think she's going to be fun to play against in in all game modes. Obviously, we're going to have to see how she is in 4v4s when it comes to, uh, you know, the opponents having thick blood or, like, you know, the griffin feats that heal. We're going to have to obviously see how she fits into 4v4 at a competitive level especially but that's going to take some time you know we need to we need to wait until the guys get the hands on the comp guys and the people that know what they're talking about but in duels in duels especially she's going to be fun again to play and that's good so again you know pk very happy with the changes i feel like they're all very good swiftly moving on to, to the nabushi and the shigoki obviously nabushi um the stamina changes uh, the stamina buff to the hidden stance and the zone, very good. You know, that's going to encourage people to use that more and, and get more of a flow going. Obviously, the second part of that zone can be soft fainted into the kick or an undodgeable heavy or able to dodge out of it, you know. Her flow is going to be better in all game modes as well. So, you know, we'll see if she's going to be a good pick again for the mid lane in 4v4s. Uh, and I expect to obviously see her a little bit more in 1v1s, so we'll see how, how that goes. But yeah, overall, good changes. I still, I do feel like the kick should be a little quicker though. I still feel like the kick is too slow compared to all these other heroes that have all sorts of, you know, fast kicks, bashes, etc. I feel like the kick is still too slow, man. You know, it's still pretty easy to react to, in my opinion. 
So, you know, one change I would do to that is definitely speed up the kick a little. Uh, obviously, the Shigoki, uh, the hyper armor being removed from lights is very good because that shit is just fucking annoying as fuck. So that is a good change, in my opinion. Having the side dodge headbutt as well is a nice addition to being able to punish bashes and stuff. You guys have not. You guys have watched my Shigoki videos where I've like been dodging BP bashes, got, tried to go for a guard break, but then got teched, like because I didn't fucking dodge it quick enough. Even though it's already tough to dodge as it is, you know that shit is annoying. But now that's fixed because you know you can just dodge and headbutt, which is nice. So that's a nice addition as well. Obviously the uh, the dash forward heavy to catch the rolls, you know that's never a bad thing. Also a good addition. Uh, the only thing that I, that I don't understand is the removing the armor from the hug. Uh, I'm not sure why they did that. I don't think that's a very good change in my opinion. The thing that I liked about that was it punished option selects quite a lot. You know, it was very good and satisfying to to, to punish people just option select zoning the unblockable and just you know hugging through it. But not just that as well, but in 4v4s as well. You know, I, I don't feel like it should have been removed in my opinion. I mean. It wasn't really a broken thing in the first place. It wasn't really something that you really saw a lot of people complaining about, I guess, really. You know, the, the move is already pretty bad. You know, it's pretty... It's, it's not really that tough to dodge. Unless you just option select all the time and obviously get punished for it. But it's not really that tough to dodge. And obviously the recovery of it is so bad. I, I'm not sure why the armor was removed. That's the one thing that I wouldn't have changed. But, but yeah, everything else is good, you know. So, you know, brief summary of all the reworks. I'm very happy with uh, the Warden, the PK. I think the Nabushi changes are good, but the kick needs to be faster. Uh, and I think the Shigoki changes are good, but uh, the Hyper Armor removal on the hook is a little confusing. And I, I don't know. I think he still needs work, but it, yeah. That's pretty much it for the reworks. So, moving on to the Griffin. So, uh, you know, as you can, as you can see... Obviously, a lot of reused animations, but uh, honestly, I don't really care much about that. Um, as long as the character is good, as long as the character is strong and flows nicely, and he is fun to play and fun to play against, I don't give a shit if they reuse the animations on that, you know? Obviously, with COVID happening this year, uh, you know, I'm not sure if that is the reason why they chose to reuse some animations, just to make everything easier. Either way, I think it's fine, honestly. As long as it's not a shit character, and as long as they don't butcher it, to me, I don't see the problem with that, really. I don't think it's lazy. Uh, obviously, we don't know what is going on behind the scenes with, with cover going on in the studio. We don't know how much it affected the work. But from what we've seen, he's very strong. In, in ones and fours and it's good you know warmonger is strong in ones and fours you know it's it's good that we actually get in these strong heroes that are viable picks and you see them uh, across all levels of gameplay from from average to competitive and i feel like we'll see the griffin in a uh, high level competitive as well which is good i'm not going to go too much in depth to his uh his feats and stuff because i Obviously, I don't really know much about them other than the healing and stuff. Obviously, if, you know, you're fighting against four griffins in a fucking lobby, that's going to be a problem, you know. Another reason why single pick should be a thing, in my opinion. I know a lot of people have mixed opinions about that. A lot of people don't like the idea of single pick. But at the end of the day, man, you know, it is what it is. There's fucking so many characters to choose from. That if somebody does pick the character you wanted to play, it shouldn't really be much of a fucking issue that you can just play another character, honestly. So yeah, you know, overall, the, the way that the game is currently, you know, I'm very happy with it. I'm excited for this, for this new season. I'm excited to dive in, play the new hero, the Griffin, uh, the Warden rework, the PK as well. You know, I'm excited to play some of her as well. So all in all, I'm very happy. Uh, and, you know, I'm looking forward to doing plenty of content on, on all three, as well as next-gen uh, PS... I've got a PS5, I've got the next-gen Xbox, so, you know, I'm looking forward to doing viewer duels on the next-gen consoles with 60 FPS. So, yeah, guys, there's going to be shitloads of content from me. You know, I'm actually going to be having fun and enjoying what I'm doing from the looks of things. So, that's just my brief thoughts. On, on everything you know not in going into too much detail but you know a lot of people have been asking how i felt about it so there you go now you know you can expect me to uh to continue putting out content and and good gameplay also you can expect me to play a lot more 4v4s as well you you know I, i'm normally just a jewels guy 
But I'm actually wanting to uh, to play some fours, man. You know, you guys saw the uh, obviously you guys saw the beachhead update as well, which made what was a terrible, pretty terrible map is now probably going to be one of the favourites amongst everybody, from what I've heard. Anyway, you know, uh, people across all levels, you know, up until up until high level competitive, are pretty excited to play on this new map now. So you can definitely. Uh, you can definitely expect a lot more 4v4 gameplay from me. Obviously, with the the warden, when the, when these changes do eventually make it into live game, I'll be taking the warden into 4v4s quite a lot. So I'm pretty excited for that. So yeah, if you made it this far anyway, cheers guys. I appreciate you watching. I'm sorry that I've been pretty inactive lately. You know, I I've got to be honest. You know, I've been enjoying Demon Souls a lot on the PS5. I have posted some videos of Demon Souls, uh, and I've been streaming a little bit on Twitch again after not streaming for a year. So it's kind of just it's kind of just a new season waiting room for me right now. So yeah, guys, hope you have a great weekend. Got a pretty excited collab coming up actually, which we're we're going to be recording on Sunday. I'm not going to say who it is yet, but it's going to be a fucking good one, man. So you can probably expect to see the video of that collab before the season launch. But other than that, honestly, I'm just going to be chilling uh, and just just playing some fucking Demon Souls and that, man. So I appreciate you guys sticking around, and I shall see you in the new season. So yeah, have a great weekend, and catch you next time. <laughs>